It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Chicago Bears and the Arizona Cardinals. And it comes your way next. We find ourselves at the home of the world's first retractable natural grass field as you get a look inside State Farm Stadium in Glendale. Today, two NFC clubs going head-to-head as it'll be the Chicago Bears taking on the Arizona Cardinals. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gunn, and Charles kickoff moments away. Quickly, what are you watching in this one? The offensive line for both teams, because both teams have a terrific pass rush. They've got to keep their passers upright. If they have a chance to do that, they can both thrive on offense and move the ball downfield. Here's Cairo Santos now, ready to get this one started. And this one is underway here on EA Sports. Now Greg Dortch going to bring it out of the end zone. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. Here come the Cardinals, and it is Kyler Murray from Oklahoma who leads him out. Drafted with the idea that he'd be one of the most dangerous quarterbacks in the NFL when he put it all together. We've been seeing that progress throughout his career. This guy's legs, we knew they were phenomenal. Arm, top notch. But now we're seeing his mind come into the game. Reed's defense is better and better each and every week and is showing patience as a passer as well. Not as eager to exit the pocket, finding guys downfield for bigger plays. First play from scrimmage, here's Murray. And he will find his man on the outside. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. The game's first play produces six yards, brings up second down. To throw is Murray. Looking middle, and that's complete. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. They'll run for the first time with James Conner. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. That goes for 14 yards, first down Cardinals. And that's a run that'll energize an offensive line. They'll take that one all day long. Fundamental breakdown by the defense. You've got to be able to make plays on the edge. Murray now on first down. Looking downfield, and that's caught right side. He's got his man. A huge play there for Arizona. 44 yards. Execution was one of their watchwords leading up to this one. And on that play, able to execute brilliantly here on this opening drive. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. From the gun, a give to Connor. And here he'll get it down to the seven. It's a pickup of four and it'll bring up second down. Not a run that you're gonna write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Second and six with the ball on the seven. Out of the gun, here's Murray. Buying time to his left. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. Kyler Murray taking it in from 
seven yards away. And the Cardinals get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Oh, this is a great decision right here. Out of the pocket to his left. And he knows if he waits too long, the defense is going to be all over him. So he makes a decision to go and wins the race to the pylon. Prater for the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. A drive that time of six plays, and the play that polished it off was the touchdown run by Kyler Murray. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. Here's Jones to bring it out of the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. So here now the Bears offense for their first drive of the game. And they will be led out by a guy certainly still trying to prove himself here in the league, the young rookie quarterback. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. Now a play fake here on first down. Oh, the first play of the game going to be intercepted. Picked up by Sean Murphy Bunting. And he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. So already trailing, Charles, they opted to try to take a shot on their first play from scrimmage. Obviously, that one didn't pan out. Absolutely not. And how about the momentum that's being created now? You score, you take it away, big return. You've got a chance to go up two touchdowns here early in the game. That'll feel great for their team. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And they'll have good field position here following the interception and a chance to build on their lead as they start with a first and ten. After the turnover, here's Murray. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. It'll go as a gain of four, and it'll be second down. Murray now. Incomplete. The turnover put them in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. you got to cash in and get some points. They haven't made much of this great starting field position they had. Here's third and six. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. shy of the 10. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Well, he and his offense were staring down what was likely a three and out. Zero fear from his side, though. Never doubt for a second they pick up the first. He's ready to pull the trigger on a keeper the moment it revealed itself. First down, Murray. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. The result, only four yards there on the play, and it'll be second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play. And he's going to be dropped back in the 15-yard line. That sack by Tremaine Edmonds. Well, we saw him score on the ground earlier in the ball game. This time, the defense says not so fast. Yeah, that's good scouting and good awareness, isn't it? Because you always have to be wary of him keeping it himself, especially in this part of the field. Because if he doesn't like what he sees, you know he'll take off and try and go for it himself. Meanwhile, on third down, a 
they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. Fourth down, Murray off, and the Cards field goal unit and Matt Prater out there now. That's just 32 yards officially from the right hash. Prater's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So they get the turnover in plus territory. The drive stalls out, but still able to get three out of that. Yeah, we were able to see an offense and a defense kind of mix and match with each other, didn't we? Both of them trying to make sure that they have the upper hand and the advantage. Offense trying to get to the end zone. Defense, of course, trying to hold them to a field goal attempt. And it wasn't a guaranteed lock three from where they started. So, you know, the offense has to be happy to come away with those three points. So after the made field goal, 10-0 here early as the kick's away. No run back here for Jones, a touchback. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. They find themselves down 10-0 early after the interception on their opening drive led to a field goal. So now they've got to pick up the mantle a little bit. You mentioned the team's down 10. They've helped contribute to that. How are they going to get their team back into this ball game? Run the offense that you think is going to be effective and execute it at a high level. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much-needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. First carry for DeAndre Swift. Taken down at the 42. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. Now Williams looking to throw on second down. Throws left side complete to Keenan Allen. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Here now, third and a yard. Looking to throw. Williams able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. So in the Cardinal territory now. It's first and ten at the 47. Back to throw. Williams. He's got the connection to Moore. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. He'll keep it himself. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Oh, man, that wasn't far from breaking in a big way into the secondary. Read option, quarterback kept it. And while he didn't get a first down, he did get a nice chunk of yardage. Only a nice tackle prevented it from maybe going all the way. On second down, Swift. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. First down and they go with Swift again. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. A solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal. Well, you're down early. How do you get back in the game? Maybe establish the run. I think they're trying to do that. Now I'm with you on that one. And what I like about the message 
is that there's no panic from the head coach. He's already told his offensive coordinator, let's run the football, let's get things settled down a little bit and find our way back into this game. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Well, now hang on here because he appears to be shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him and we will step aside. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Up the middle, Johnson. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Bears have got it back to within a score. Did my eyes deceive me? Or was that an eye formation play that was just run there for a touchdown? Little old school eye. How about that? Was that a fullback, tailback, running it into the end zone? Well, that's what that fullback's for, right? That's why you use that. Let him pave the way. Oh, without a doubt. He's an extra blocker, and he did his job well on that play. Santos with the extra point, and that'll cut it to three at 10-7. To the touchdown here, Santos to kick this one away. And a touchback as Dorch elects not to return it. With the football back in the hands of the Arizona Cardinals. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way. That doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. On the gas. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carry before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Murray going to throw. That's complete to Michael Wilson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. His first catch, good for 16 and a first. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Throwing on first down is Murray. He's got this downfield in the play. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. What a go is an impressive 31-yard gain. I know we love our jobs. And pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about the big plays. Let's face it, that's what we absolutely look for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. To throw, it's Murray. Goes right back to McBride. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. On first and 10 is Connor. Stopped on the play by Connor Gordon. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit. Wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. They work now on second and nine. 
Again, it's Connor. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Sets him up nicely. First and goal. It was a pickup of 14. Well, as we've learned over the years, just because a guy plays left tackle doesn't mean he doesn't have run blocking abilities. And we just saw it there. Controlled the line of scrimmage. Created a big game. That's kind of a bonus. He's there to protect that high value that you have back under center. But he creates space in the run game. Yeah, not only can he... And it's intercepted at the goal line. And the Bears are going to take possession here. It's a touchback. And they'll take over at the 20-yard line. But turnovers, obviously, Charles, always costly. But, oh man, when you throw those interceptions in the end zone like that, it really stings. He tried to fit that one into his tight end. And I often use the expression NFL open, which means a tighter window. Down near the goal line, you really want him to be open. In this case, it cost him. They go quickly here out to Moore. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. With these run pass options, we often talk about a good quarterback and running back. Well, having a talented wide receiver helps also. Yeah, even coming in third in the discussion, sometimes that means he really should be first because all you want to do is get the ball in their hands and let them make the big plays downfield. 10-7 our score after one right here on EA Sports. The Bears with the football. We get set to begin quarter number two. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. As they've got it as we resume action. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. They well, certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Looking to throw, Williams. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Oh, he faked it with a juke. Now he's got some room. That's a 49-yard punt. Eight, though, on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Arizona's offense back out and ready to go. And a close game like this, Charles, those interceptions like they had on the last drive could be costly. But here they've got another opportunity to seize control of this game. And they'd better take advantage of it because otherwise, if they end up losing by one score, They'll relive this over and over and over until they have another opportunity to wipe it away. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Got his man. It's Dorch. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. So from the 37, here's second and three. Here's Murray. Over the middle here to Wilson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Right up to that point, I was about to say, he's had a pretty good half catching the football, but let's just be honest about it. He should have caught that one. And he knows that. That was one right in his bread basket and one he normally catches. Second and 10.
Here's Murray. Well, this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Again, they'll throw with Murray. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. Evident there that he learned his lesson from the last drive. No way he was going to force a throw that time when nothing broke open. Kept it and ended up running for a first down himself. On first and ten, here's Murray. That quick throw there is incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Now a second and ten. Murray now to throw. He'll get that one complete to Connor. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. That's a nice design there. But sometimes, though, you get so many blockers out ahead of you, they kind of slow you down and force you to adjust. You always appreciate guys trying to help you, but maybe one less there could have turned this into a bigger game. From the gun on third down, Murray. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Cardinals first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them, and not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they're going to have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily, fell incomplete. Now, Murray again. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Well, every point certainly counts at this stage of the game. But after driving so far, you absolutely know they want to finish it with six instead of three. Well, this drive, they're a perfect two of two on third down conversions, but they need a full 10 yards here. Now Murray. He'll be hit and taken down. 21. Montez Sweat. He's the culprit. Causes a loss of five and it brings up fourth down. So this defense, they gave up some yards on this drive, but bottom line, they came up with a sack when it mattered. And we know that every down counts, but let's be honest about it. People focus on third down as a real key down in any drive, any situation. They took full advantage of third down there and made a play. Well, in a close game like this, obviously you want the touchdown, but certainly they will take the three. And they'll be okay with that, but let's throw a little credit to the defense as well. I'm just glad this doesn't come down to a debate, right? Which side won, partner, because the defense, hey, we didn't give up a touchdown. The offense, hey, we put three on the board. Either way you look at it, I think both sides gained something out of that drive. Prater now will send it away following the made field goal. And this will come out to the 25 as Jones elects for the touchback. The Chicago offense set to get started. The last series form a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. 
He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Well, I think after that run, the defense is getting back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? Now left side on the swing pass. Four yards the pick up, first down. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that, second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Here's a handoff to Swift running left. Room here to run! And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. 41 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. Well, CD, a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast in the open field, but, man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning upfield, but also when you run those inside runs, he can get into the secondary so fast the linebackers don't have a chance to react. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. That's a pretty play there coming out of the backfield. But as that back, you've got to be conscious of making sure you're securing the football. When you get out in the open field, sometimes you get a little loose with it as you're trying to get up ahead of steam. Make sure you keep it close to your body because those defenders are trying to punch it free. He does a nice job there protecting the ball and picking up the first down. A first down run, good for about three. Second and seven coming up. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Williams now to throw on second down. Caught by Allen. What a methodical drive this is turning out to be. That time, nine yards, and the sticks move again. Now, that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had it and dropped it. That is an unforced error there, and it takes away what could have been a touchdown. And that is not what you expect from a receiver of his caliber. Sometimes you get a little ahead of yourself, you don't look it in, and all of a sudden it's on the ground. A surprise to all. On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. They'll get two on the keeper, but it becomes now a third down. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Out of the huddle now for play number nine on this drive. This is third down at eight. Back to throw. Williams. And it is caught. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 11 more yards there, and this methodical drive continues. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going, and if points result, we'll call this play significant. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Right back to Swift again on second down. And he'll get about three just outside the 10, stopped at the 11. The Bears on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This will be third and five. Operating from the gun, Williams. That's to Moore, and he's got it. Touchdown, Bears.
An 11 yard touchdown. And the Bears are an extra point away now from moving out in front. That pass also evens the ledger for the rookie quarterback. Had the interception earlier, and now he gets the touchdown throw. The ideal touchdown to interception ratio is what? Three to one for the best quarterbacks. But he's a rookie. Just getting back to even is a big deal. Increases the confidence his teammates have in him as he tries to become their leader. Santos able to tack on the extra point. And with it, his guys take the lead here by a point. To the touchdown here Santos to kick this one away and a touchback as Dorch elects not to return it the Cardinal offense takes back over and last time able to get three it's not what they wanted they wanted six but they got at least something they mustered something out of the drive they'll take it just I, I like the way you, you've described it not ideal but they'll take it anything to put some points on the board but this time on offense they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone yeah, they'll be going for six here's a throw to his running back it's complete into space at the 45 he gets it across the 50 and down to the 48 That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. Yeah, big play there. When you have a running back that you can use like a wide receiver, when he has that kind of versatility, you do as they did there. Get him out of the backfield and give those defensive backs something else to worry about. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 48-yard line. They'll fake it to Connor. Now Murray. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. But well, one thing we certainly know, he likes to take those risks deep downfield during games, coverage or not. The coverage was there on that one. No catch, but he's also fortunate. No turnover either. Here's second and ten. To throw is Murray. Pass to the right, and he's got McBride. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. It's not cool about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. So third and two, this quite possibly four-down territory, though, if they're stopped. They'll try and run for it with Connor. Ooh, a juke. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, though, if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. 63 yards rushing for him now to this point. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Here now, second and four. Throwing now is Murray. He's got McBride here over the middle. And the Cardinals are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right, safety valve, throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. Murray now. And the Cards have retaken the lead. Well, in that connection, it looked like they maybe had some pre-play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open to the defense to get the pass to. 
when you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback receiver combos in the NFL, they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something pre-play, and they got it done there. Extra point good by Prater, and that'll make this a six-point game. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. No run back here for Jones, a touchback. Well, let's shine the spotlight on the former Georgia Bulldog, DeAndre Swift, who's set to begin this next drive. They're behind in the first half here, CD, but it's not through any fault of their running back. He's had a strong start to this one. And you're right about that, partner, because watching him play, you would think that his team is in the lead. He has been a lot of fun in this contest. Now let's see if they can actually make something happen and put more points on the board behind his efforts. Yeah, I'm curious to see, Charles, if they can play complimentary football and get that passing game going as well. Here's Williams throwing to start the drive. Finding Moore on the out route for the completion. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Any questions of how they'd approach this drive were answered right there. They come out throwing, and they get a nice pickup here toward the end of the first half. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Looking to throw, Williams. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. It's rare that a receiver of his caliber would drop one pass, but that's now two times he's had his mitts on one and lost it. Yeah, and I don't think that they're going to lose confidence in him, though, because of the track record. Such a good player, maybe having a bad game, but I think they'll still go to him in a critical spot. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. And there's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Back to throw again. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Now a timeout called for by the offense as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. Williams throwing on first down. down but not before getting this inside the 25 call that a very strong gain of 24 kind of a dangerous throw there he's off balance when he gets rid of it but this is all about a quarterback knowing what he can get away with and that time it turns into a completion and a healthy gain as well Now Williams on first down. And he will find Scott on the right side complete. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. And these two hooked up on a nice game to play before, and I always admire play callers that see a play that works and go right back to it, so they went right back to him. The reward, they're set up with first and goal. Now he's got it. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. From the two now, second and goal. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw to the back of the end zone, but too high. Over everybody and incomplete. 
Ah, great coverage down in the end zone. He's scanning the field, looking, looking. No one ever came open. So in the end, he makes the best decision and just fires it over the end line. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left hash, he'll have to cut this at a tight angle. Santos' kick is up and through, and that cuts the lead down to just three, 20 to 17. So three points on the board, as easy a field goal as you're going to get, but I can see you shaking your head. I love that peripheral vision of yours, partner, because to me, if it's the fourth quarter and you're up six, I get it. But now, even if you run and don't get in, you're still setting them up to go a long field, 98, 99-yard drive. How do you look at your defense and not give them that opportunity? So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. In the first half, the Cardinals did what they always do, and that's rely on their quarterback, Kyler Murray. He had a touchdown both in the air and on the ground to help push his guys into the lead at the break. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. It's been a shootout so far. We'll see which defense can make the adjustments as we get back underway in the second half. No run back here to begin the half, and we will start at the 25-yard line. Now the Bears offense set to go to begin the third quarter. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. Third quarter starts with a run from Swift. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, at the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to help feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Williams now, off play action. And his throw is going to be incomplete. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches have told me in the past, the biggest teaching point. Get your head around, locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there, that was nice. So after the second down in completion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Back to throw, Williams. They'll set up the screen for Herbert. And pass the 40 before he's out of bounds. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down for the Bears. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sense that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. Here's a little touch pass as they tap it quickly to their receiver. Oh, and this one that may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. This defense not fooled one bit on that touch pass. And this has become one of those kind of in vogue plays. You know, kind of like the shuffle pass was a few years ago. This one never got off the ground, but you understand why a lot of teams are running it. These wide receivers, a lot of them, they run like running backs with the ball in their hands. Well, second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. 
Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. Again, he'll drop to throw. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had him back on their heels, but they earn a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Now an option play on second down. And this play a lot like the previous one, thanks to that stout Cardinal defense. Back to back, they've been tackled behind the line. I don't think there's any doubt that if it's me, I'd be really cautious about continuing to call this play because you got to know, defenders, if they get a free shot at the QB, they want to take it, and they want to take it big. And they got it there on the option play for a loss. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Chicago. Khalil Herbert, 51 yards. And the Bears have taken the lead here in this third quarter. Well, I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, but his top two options were not available on that throw, so he went the safe route and worked out pretty well. It was like you were in the pocket. How about you going through the progressions <laughs> like that? But a lot of offenses say, touchdown to check down. Look downfield first, bring it back to the line of scrimmage. Not easy for a rookie to do. Oftentimes they get one look and they make their decision off of that. He went through three. That was impressive. Santos with the extra point, and that will make this a four-point game. After the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. And a touchback as Dorch elects not to return it. The Cardinals offense now ready to get their first opportunity here in the second half. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side. And he lost the football. And the defense not able to get it. From a defensive perspective, what's that moment like when you realize the ball is loose? It is a moment where all concentration goes right to the football. This is something you've talked about in all your preparation for the game. You've probably talked about since training camp. Knock the ball free, take it away from the other team, and now you have that chance. <laughs> it's a little bit of deflation when they end up recovering it. They knocked it free, but couldn't take it away. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. First down, Murray. Taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. Fast, slow, it doesn't matter. If you give a quarterback enough room to escape, he can hit you for a big game. You've got to give him a little more focus moving forward. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 46. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. 
This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Here's a handoff to Connor. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends. They're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. Flush, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Montez Sweat picks up his second sack of the afternoon. That's his second sack of the game, and the best defensive ends, they do their homework as much as offensive guys do. They know how to beat the offensive lineman across from them, what moves they need to do to set them up. This guy's been pretty good at it all game long. Here comes the Cardinals punter now, as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. The Bears offense now heading back out onto the field. They have played so strongly. You look at the scoreboard, you, you probably, with the way they played, you would think the margin would be a lot bigger, right? You would. And in your experience, how many times have we run into coaches where they've talked about, hey, we just want to put it in the hands of our defense and have them win the game? In this case, yeah, not the case. Not at all. You want to put it in the hands of your offense, but you always feel better about seeing defense because you think defense is a constant and offense kind of comes and goes. Today, <laughs> this game, no, they need their offense to stay on a really hot level. They've been hot so far. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. It may be only a gain of three yards, but that back, he deserves a lot more credit on the play. That could have easily been stopped in the line, but his vision and his determination found some space to turn it into that modest game. Here's Williams looking to throw on second down. And he couldn't get that one to his man. Short of him, it's low and incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. On third down, Williams. The cards get to him here. He's brought down for a sack. Kaiser Wright, the former safety, gets the sack. Even keeping the back end for extra protection on third down, they still couldn't prevent the sack. Now it's fourth and long thanks to a terrific individual effort on defense. Here comes the Bears punter now, standing just outside his own goal line. Fair catch called for in May, but now we'll have to see about the penalty. Trailing here in the second half, went for the aggressive play, got a little too aggressive. You've got to know when to pull up, or if you're going to go for it, how to take your body across a punter's body and not into him. Not a good play at all. So a big break. The roughing the kicker called on fourth down leads to first and ten. Swift going to try up the middle. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there. Second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. From the 35, here's the second down and six. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. Breaks the tackle, now Allen. There he goes, right side. DeAndre Swift, touchdown, Chicago. DeAndre Swift, 65 yards. And the Bears are able to stretch out their lead.
I know I should keep the focus and the spotlight on the hero that just scored, but tackling's been an issue for this defense all game long. I can't set that aside. We just saw it again here. Missed tackles leads to his long touchdown run. Now the point after try for Santos. And that one pushes the lead up to 11. Five plays there on that drive. And a long run there in the end to top it off. After the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Cardinal offense now making their way back out onto the field. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions last time out. They had to punt it away, this time hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 23. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. A nice job there on the instant scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. Multiple times now he's tagged them with a big gain with his legs. Really showing off some nice awareness and the ability to correctly realize when he's got a chance to tuck it and go himself. Throwing on first down is Murray. That pass completed to Dorch. So five yards here, five on the play. And that'll bring up second down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Now Murray off play action. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Five yards on the scramble, and that's enough to pick up the first. Well, he's proven real effective from the football. No one open, don't force it. Just get what you can, and that's what he's done very well in this game. Out of the shotgun, they'll run with Connor. And he's got it across midfield and into Bear territory. Tremaine Edmonds there to bring him down. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Connor going to get it again on second down. Now he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. Well, partner, I guess sometimes it's just a matter of philosophy. Some say run until they absolutely stop you, and others say, well, when you think they're about to stop you, fool them a little bit. I guess they should have tried to fool them on that play. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. Screen pass to Connor. But he won't quite make it. He needed six. He got about five. Fourth down. Boy, that one was well read defensively. And this is all about diagnosis as a safety and being decisive because he saw it setting up in front of him, able to knife through there and make the play. Here comes the Cardinals punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And now on fourth and one, it's a fake. And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. They fake the punt, it doesn't work out, and the Bears will get the football back. So a definite surprise there. They try the fake punt, but 
This time it's going to blow up in their face, CD. Yeah, it certainly has. And look, I understand what they're trying to do. They're trailing right now, probably trying to generate some momentum. But that felt like one of those go for broke type of a plays in a situation where I don't know that they needed to do that. They still have opportunities. And in this case, they took a chance and it backfired. Swift is hit and he coughs it up. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45 yard line. Well, you had an offense working with a comfortable two score lead here in the third quarter and certainly doesn't feel as comfortable now following the turnover. Yeah, you're right about that because now the nerves start to come into play a little bit. You're a little bit jangled. You don't want to give your opponents any avenues to get back into the game. What you'd rather do, put up signs and say, roads closed. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. Now, the question, was the knee, in fact, down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. The fumble on first down. Now here's second down. Operating from the gun, Williams. But the man is Komet, the tight end. Yeah, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. A first down there on a pickup of 25. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large body tight ends and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. 147 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. Another good run for him. What else is new? That'll put him right at 150 yards for the game. So he's really made his presence felt in this one. Here's Swift. They'll get this halfway home from the 8 to the 4 on a gain of 4. And now defensively, you have to look at this like the game's on the line. It's just the third quarter, but another touchdown given up here could really spell an end to their chances. So they need to toughen up and keep them out of the end zone. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line, second and goal. Looking to throw, Williams. Open man, he finds Komet. Touchdown, Chicago. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Bears have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. He has really settled in throwing the football, and that touchdown here in the fourth quarter gives him a pretty comfortable cushion. He may be a rookie, but he's playing like fourth QB is easy. How about this guy? Youngster, not worried about anything, just cutting it loose and having fun. Santo tack on the extra point, and the lead is up to 18 now. After the touchdown, here's Santos to kick this one away. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. The Cardinals offense now works their way back onto the field. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. 
they just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But if they trim that lead down to just two scores, that's still a benefit to this squad. From the 43, it's second and three. Shotgun now for Murray. Got his man, it's Dorch. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. Eighth catch for him now. He's been a big factor. And it's a first down. Now Murray. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. Throwing again, Murray. This ball tipped, and it's going to be incomplete. Fortunate maybe to get that back. It's third down. And now offensively, it's third and ten. And I'm just thinking to myself, actors always say, what's my motivation before a big scene? Right now, the play caller's thinking, what have I done before that's worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first half scoring points. Haven't done anything so far here in the second half. Over the middle here to Wilson. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 41-yard line. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Murray looks to throw again, second and ten. He's got his tight end McBride on the out route. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 30. 11 more yards there, and this methodical drive continues. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth, but a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches, you're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Second down, eight to go from the 28. Plexion. Now it's Murray. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. As defensive coordinators around the league tell me all the time, that throw is not for every quarterback because you've really got to drive the ball downfield. It's going to be a tight window for him to fit that one into. In this case, unsuccessfully. They got to get to the 20 to keep the drive alive on third down. Play fake, Murray. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. So following the holding call, what can they do here on third and long? Murray now to throw. 
Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 16. The defense shaking their heads, not aggressive enough, and they allow him to convert a third and 18. What a throw right there for the first down. He has taken some real punishment in this game, but still standing in the pocket completing that one. He's a flat-out warrior. There's no question about that. How about him stepping up into the teeth of the rush and delivering there for that big strike and that big pickup? From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. Call it a gain of three on the play. And that will bring up second down. Connor up the middle. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Three yards on the pickup. That's going to set up an interesting third and about four to go. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. This offense has converted two third downs on this drive already. This is third and four. Here's Murray. And he's going to be a yard short. Needed four, but got three. Excellent job there defensively. Gave up the underneath to the tight end on third down, and they made sure that they did their job. Got him on the ground and prevented him picking up a first down. Fourth down, Murray off, and the Cards field goal unit and Matt Prater out there now. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Prater's kick is good, and that'll get the deficit down to 15. Well, with that field goal, you can argue they needed to get back within two scores, and they did indeed do that, but still a pretty uphill battle. Still going to take two fourth-quarter touchdowns to get back into it. And as you and I know, that's a tall order against any NFL defense. They're going to need their own defense to make some plays as well to give them an opportunity. Prater now will send it away following the made field goal. And this will come out to the 25 as Jones elects for the touchback. And now the Bears coming out as they get ready. Now there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Williams throwing to start the drive. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. Off the play fake, Williams. That to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. If you're going to take a shot downfield, second and one is a perfect time to do it. If you're going to be in heavy run defense, you should have good windows to throw it downfield. And it looked like there was something there right after the snap, but the defense able to recover. The offense on third down can't fault these numbers. Seven for nine thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. They'll try and run here with Swift. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Four yards on the pickup, good enough to extend the drive. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Yeah, he's able to push his way forward somehow for a gain of about two yards. Second down now. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. 
And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. 171 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. And they'll come up second and seven. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. This defense could use some more of these types of plays. How about him reading it, driving on the football, and he's right there for the pass breakup. And they'll need to get to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. Back to throw. Williams. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. Good contain, no gain on the screen, and it'll bring up fourth down. And I know that one didn't work out the way they thought, but I don't think it was a bad time to call this play. You're thinking on third down, you might possibly see some pressure. You might see a blitz. So they tried to set up the screen, but that one was well read, and they stopped them for no gain. Here comes the Bears punter now as he's on to kick it away. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard at the line. Not too bad. Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news, but this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 15. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Over the middle, it's complete. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Murray going to throw. Over the middle complete. It's Connor. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. They're giving those short little routes, tackled him in bounds too. They're just not wanting to get beat over the top. Yeah, and if you can't really get downfield, take the short routes. But now you've got to have guys who can actually break tackles and increase those gains. Now Murray throwing on second down. A short one here caught by McBride. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. Fourth quarter, every drive's so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You've got the first one for the second one to even matter. Murray now on first down. He's got a man that's caught left sideline. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. That one goes for 24 yards. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 38. Murray to air it out again. Out to the right here to Wilson. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Now second and four. They fake the handoff. Now Murray. It's brought in by Wilson. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Heady, heady, heady on that one, huh? Getting out of bounds before the two-minute warning. They get an extra timeout, extra opportunity to move the ball down. Matt Eberflus clearly in disagreement with that last call, and he's going to throw the challenge flag. 
Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. Murray a give. This is Connor. And he is not going to go anywhere. They're going to get to him behind the line, and that is going to get us to the two-minute warning. On second down, here's Murray. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Give him big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. Boy, here's a big one. You can just feel it. This is third down now. Here's Murray. He's got McBride here over the middle. And the tackle made at the 13. He is well short of the first. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, like hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do yeah, it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies, unable to get it done. Now Murray's got to have this one. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one to five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one to five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope. When they had to slog their way downfield, they got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Yeah, yeah you know, it doesn't kinda, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> A little less than 90 seconds to go. This will be an onside kick. And the Bears' hands team able to pounce on it and get the football. A tough one there. They certainly wanted that when they needed it, but they didn't absolutely have to get it. They still do have three timeouts. You're exactly right. They had to attempt it. But even though they didn't get it, as you noted, with three timeouts, if they can get these stops on defense, all hope is not lost. The Bears offense ready to get going again. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see them take all three timeouts defensively so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. They've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. Now a timeout called for by the defense as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They go back to the ground, this time Swift. And he's going to be down at the 35, gain of seven. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second, as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here is third down and four. Looking to throw, Williams. And this is caught, he hits more. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down.
The win for the Bears just around the corner. They go down to a knee. Down to a knee one more time, and that should just about do it. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something, and they, <laughs> they did in this one. Well, somebody lit a fire under that offense during the break, Charles. Remember, they trailed an intermission. They come out, they have the big second half, and that lifts them to the victory. And Brandon, trailing at halftime, we always talk about teams making adjustments. You know what the best adjustments usually are? It's just executing better. Because the game plan you put in place at the beginning of the week often still holds. You don't have to make wholesale changes. You just have to do it a little bit better, a little cleaner. And they did that in the second half, and that led them to victory. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long and sign off from the desert. <laughs>